Hello everybody, Sean here, and we are looking at the Belfry Gargoyles fight, and if you are a Dark Souls fan, you will remember the Gargoyles from the first Souls game quite fondly, and the Gargoyles are back for round two, I guess you could say, and this time they brought some friends. Uh, not only will there be two of them, but there will be a third and a fourth, and it is it's not going to be a fun time. Uh, this fight can be attempted very early in the game, but I in fact skipped it, it as a completely optional fight. Although, if you are able to complete it earlier in the game, uh, you will open the passageway to the Bastille Key, which then can be used to better help yourself against the Lost Sinner fight. But again, totally optional. Sinner can still be fought and killed without the Bastille Key and the, the bonuses that that gives you. But anyways, the fight at hand. So, because they are gargoyles, they are weak to lightning, although you see I have magically enchanted my sword, which does give me a little extra damage, not much, but my character is a dexterity, strength, intelligence hybrid class, uh, primarily dex and intelligence, just enough strength to wield uh, some decent armor and shields and whatnot. So it's in my benefit to use magic. But if you could put, anytime you can enchant a weapon uh, with magic or with uh, lightning, anything like that, it's usually beneficial. You will do a little bit extra damage. But in the grand scheme of things, lightning is where it's at. If you have lightning or if you're a miracle character, that is what you're going to want to roll with. To do the fight, you saw at the very beginning when we first walked in, I ran to the gargoyle on the left. He's the first one that comes alive, and there's a few seconds where you can actually attack him before he uh, initiates his, his kind of attacks, uh, before he kind of joins the battle. So you have a few minutes, or seconds rather, where you can swing some attacks, and if you're two-handing a very powerful weapon, you probably can just take him out of the fight right then and there. And then naturally the second one will come alive the third one the fourth one so on and so forth to the point where you see right now where we had three on screen for several minutes and now we're down to two all you can really do here is be extremely defensive and pick your shots very very carefully ideally the best time to hit them is when they're breathing fire not obviously when they're airborne and doing it but when they're on the ground breathing fire that's the best time to hit them because generally they're they're facing one direction and they're not going to be able to turn very quickly. So if one of them breathes fire, you can run past him or around the fire and smack him a few times. And hopefully, right there is a good good example. Uh, if I had been able to get to him a little quicker, but I still managed to get one hit off. Again, because the fire it locks them in place and it has a very long animation and it has a long cooldown. Even after they stop breathing fire, they still don't move for a couple seconds. Of course, if you're a mage, you're going to have a little more trouble with this fight, I feel. Uh, even with my shield up constantly, th this could be a tough fight. you got to be very, very evasive. So even if you are not a melee character, if you're a mage or an archer or someone of that nature, I still suggest you bring a shield to this fight to help block some attacks. But really, it's going to come down to a lot of evasion and just picking your shots very, very carefully. But anyways, I hope that helps. That's the Belfry Gargoyles. I thank you for watching, and we'll see everyone next time.